Hello everybody, welcome to my channel Techland AI. So in today's session, so we will be discussing about Airflow, and we will be installing our Airflow using Docker. Okay, so let's get started. So before moving on, so please uh, subscribe to my channel for the tech-related updates, uh, Techland AI. So I have listed down various videos uh, in terms of technology, in terms of a fast API, building a fast API project with AWS, serverless SAM, Fargate, Docker, right, and your computer vision. So please do subscribe, like, and share. So let's get started. So before moving on, so let me go to the Airflow, and uh, this is the official documentation of the Apache Airflow. So let's dive into documentation part in this documentation part uh, i will go to this docker stack and uh, here i will go to the quick start so how i can run my docker uh, my airflow using air uh, the airflow locally or i could run my airflow in docker so uh, like locally like my airflow would be installed on my local system but in docker so it would be installed in the docker container so i would prefer installing my airflow in the docker container so my airflow would run using my docker so let's get started so we would be running this airflow in the celery execution in docker right so for the running airflow in production we usually recommend we run on kubernetes right so here we begin so we can have a docker compose file so which consists of all the necessary commands and the images which would be listed down in the yaml file so there we need to make it up and running via docker container right okay so this is your Compo, docker compose yaml file so i need to download this yaml file and then we will see that what this file contains so let's get started so first of all i will open up my terminal right so i will try to make a project this says uh, airflow uh, with my i will go into cd documents and uh, Personal projects, GitHub projects, right? So I will make directory airflow underscore docker. Projects. Okay. Now I am into this uh, airflow docker project. Okay. So now I, what I will do, I will just copy this command and try to run this. So what will happen? So it will try to download this YAML file. And now in this YAM, in this particular project, I have for my docker compose.yaml. Okay. So let us open up my PyCharm and we'll try to analyze what is there inside our .yaml file, which is our docker compose YAML file. Okay. Okay, so now this file consists of several service definitions. One is the Air Force scheduler, we have a web server, we have a worker, we have init, we have postgres, that is the database, and we have the Redis, right? So basically, scheduler monitors all the tasks which are in your directed cyclic graph, which is your DAX, and we have a web server in which you have a beautiful GUI. Uh, screen in which you can control your tags then the worker which executes the task given by this scheduler right and then we have the initialization service which is your init and then we have the database which itself take care of this particular airflow so this database don't confuse it with your database so it is the inbuilt database which the airflow uses for maintaining uh, or uh, or maintaining or uh, storing some information right so then is the redis so that is the broker which forwards the message works from scheduler to the worker okay so then we have the flower also so right now we will uh, just uh, ignore this flower so we can have the flower enabled by adding your profile flower right okay right so then some directories in the containers are mounted which means you their contents are synchronized between your computer and the container okay so what happens is right 
right so now uh, in this particular uh, yaml file we have all the services up and running so now we have a web server we have a scheduler we have a worker we have init right so now actually these are uh, the libraries or these are the folders these are the directories in which your data or your uh, dags exist right so we have to mount this into your local system so i will teach you how you can do it right so first we need to initialize the environment so for that first we need to make the directory okay so let us start with our pycharm so now uh, i have opened up my docker project so let's analyze the uh, docker compose yaml file okay so this is your yaml file so now here you can see that uh, it consists of this image uh, which is the apache Airflow version 2.3.2 and we have got some environmental variables and the current executor is your cel celery executor so the database is your postgrel and uh, then there are some volumes right so these is the volume so this by default it will get stored into your op slash airflow slash dag so then uh, so these are the services these are the postgres services right then uh, we have your redis right then after that we have your airflow scheduler airflow worker right then airflow trigger then airflow init right and uh, you have your flower right so this i guess we don't need it so for the time being so let me delete it okay right so now what we need to do we need to just copy this command so this is what we are trying to say we are trying to make the local dax folder logs folder plugins folder and then we also trying to make the environmental file which consists of the airflow id right so let's get into the terminal so here in the terminal right so now here you can see so these are the folders which have been made by using your api file and i will copy this command okay so you have you, you have got your dot env file so which consists of the id 501 so okay so your id may be different then we are trying to make our docker compose up and we will do the airflow in it right so let me do the copper uh, docker compose uh, up airflow in it so make sure your docker is up and running so i have my docker up and running okay so it will take some time now it has uh, the commands has successfully uh, executed so now what we will do so we will just run the docker compose up right okay so let's check whether it is opening yes so now if i sign on so sign on with the airflow and the password is also airflow so now this is the default uh, dax screen right so this we have already installed our dag by using docker okay so this is all from me now uh, guys so stay tuned for my next video lecture in which we will try to create a new DAG and then we will try to see some tasks and how we can utilize this airflow in our project thank you guys thanks for watching